I really did like the fight between John Rail Casimiro and Nonito Donaire, both Filipino, both big power punchers. It was going to be exciting. It was going to be a unification. I'm not really sure what happened, but it's not happening anymore. Uh, now, so Rigandau against Casimiro is official again for August. Another good fight, one of the best fights of the year. But this leaves open now the question of who is Naoya Inoue going to fight for the rest of the year. He has to fight somebody. He can't be on ice again for about another six months. He just had a pretty easy fight against Das Marinas. It was a blowout. It was only three rounds. He didn't break a sweat. Uh, I'm sure he had harder sparring sessions. His fight has to be against Donaire in the rematch, doesn't it? There's nobody else. And Donaire now has the WBC. A Bali has been taken out of the picture. We don't have to worry about him anymore. It's it's something of a retread. It feels like certainly Inoue's career could have gone a lot better so far with him just edging closer to 30 now. But it is the fight to make. Get the WBC off Donaire. And... If Casemiro beats Rigandau or the other way round, go after that last guy, become undisputed, maybe move up. But we've got to keep things moving here. And I say this with a bit of emphasis because I suspect that in a way, is, as technically good as he is, he is something of a reflex fighter. He uses explosive footwork, he likes to bait leads and then react to what you do, likes to counter. They're young man traits. They're things that will go away possibly as soon as he hits 30. So I don't want to get to the point where everything takes so long to materialize in this day and age that I don't want it to get to the point where we have the undisputed fight, perhaps say against Casemiro, and in a way does win. But we all kind of go, he's not looking quite as good as he used to, is he? I don't want that to happen, but it could happen with as slow as things move, with the fact that, as I say, in a way is a very fast twitch muscle fiber kind of guy. Brilliant technically, and we saw against Donaire how good his jab is. He can rely on just the finer points of the game and take it easy, but that's not how he fights. That's not his fighting imprint or his magic. He likes to get right close up to you and use those really quick on the draw reflexes to nail you. And I can see them going uh, sooner than they should. Already wasted time. Don't want to waste any more time. It's one. It's uh, apart from the endless amount of belts there are in boxing. Just the the time wasting that happens. The amount of time it takes to make fights and often fights that don't even mean much. That is the other real cancer of boxing. And I don't want to see someone as good as in a way who is at that point now in his career where. He's basically a superstar, but we want to see him explode now. We want to see him become undisputed, maybe go up a weight and start making some real waves in the sport and just making more casuals turn their head and go, holy crap, this guy is good. You don't normally see power like that in these lower weight divisions. That's what we need to see. I don't want to just see that, that flame start to die out just because of the same old tropes of boxing these days. Oh, this he got an injury. It took too long. We can't agree. He got COVID. Ah. It all falls apart. No, we've got to have some progression. There's nobody else to fight apart from Daenerys there. He can't fight Tete. He's got blasted by Casemiro. Who else is there? Uh, there really is nobody. The fight against Luis Neri seemed interesting a way up, but he got beat by that Figueroa, didn't he? So, in a way's prospects. And the fight against Navarrete seemed good, but Navarrete being so good and uh, having moved up again, that seems an impossible super fight now. So again, the emphasis is on this quick succession of getting the unification fight to 118 pounds, becoming undisputed, which is still special, I think, today, because it's kind of rare. And then taking it from there and see where we go. But we need some progression going on here. See what happens with Casemiro Rigandau. Should be a very interesting fight. But who else is there, I ask you, for in a way the monster to fight now than a rematch with the net? It will sell easily. The first fight was the fight of 2019. Maybe Donaire will get stopped earlier and then he can finally say goodbye to the sport, having become already now the oldest bantamweight champion in history. What do you say? <laughs>